Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey guys, it's James with The Chart Guys. It's Wednesday, March 8th. Going to do my nightly video on oil. So today we had inventory reports at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we had an absolute dump on increasing bear volume. Uh, yesterday in my video, I outlined some levels to watch for bulls and bears. And obviously, bear is taking... Bears have taken full control. I said that a break. What bears want is a break of the 51.22 level on the daily and the weekly charts. And clearly broke that level and then even took out the previous uh, low of 50.71. So the next support we have on the daily here to watch for is 49.95. That's around the $5 psychological level. So we'll look for a short-term bounce there with the RSI getting to close to uh, bounce levels here on oversold. Last few times the RSI has gotten down there in this area. Uh, we've had a decent bounce here. Had a little bit of a bounce before further pullback. Then we had a, a, a good size bounce there. And we're in that area again. So uh, tomorrow, a level to look at again is the 49.95 area. If we lose the 49.95 area, we have the next support at 49.90, then uh, 49.61. And on the weekly time frame, same thing on the weekly time frame. We, we're, we're breaking the higher low set on the weekly here of 51.22 lines up with that daily candle. And this next low, higher low of 50.71. So again, we have the support at 49.95. 49.61 and then this could offer some really good support if we lose those levels at the high of 49.20. This was previously strong resistance and once we broke that strong resistances can become strong supports. Um, be aware that on the weekly we do have a TCG bear cross here. We are losing the 20 MA. Uh, so that's something to, to keep an eye out for and you can see when we get these TCG weekly bear crosses we can have some more downside, further downside. So keep that in mind. On the hourly time frame, you can see that the RSI is absolutely overbought. So what you want to look for tomorrow, uh, early on, depending on how oil shapes up overnight, is if for any bounce play, you want to keep the low of this candle here. The low of this is 50.05. 50, 50 and a break of that, and you're likely to test that 49.95 level and break $50 psychological. Um, so tomorrow you 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 want to make sure that the price level is above 50.05 uh, or holding the 49.95 level if it does break under this. And on any bounce play, you want to see an hourly candlestick at a minimum, personally for me, for a reversal, and then one more hour to confirm. Um, other than that. All you're, gonna, all you're doing is seeing consolidation possibly sideways for further downside, pulling off the RSI. So that's my video on oil. I will see you guys tomorrow.